We're wandering hard on a crazy ride An open road and a deep blue sky Feel it calling me like the wind Trust the compass down in my skin Walk straight, stay right That's what they say to me But I don't fit right Inside the lines oh, oh, oh. So we booked it out of Houston yesterday and uh, made it to the slab as our stopover point for our little week-long expedition here. Uh, we've got Dyer with us. We have Wife and Ader, Tessa, Ahsoka, there's Barrett. Yeah. And there's a Brandon with a toothbrush hanging out of his mouth. Hello. <laughs> we get the Opus pack down and uh, get on the road and get off into Big Bend. After leaving the slab, we decided to drop down to Langtree to take Dyer to the Pump Canyon Overlook just to get a little taste of what West Texas has to offer. Well, I was thinking about doing that in Sanderson yeah. okay. because we'll we'll probably need fuel since obviously this behemoth is burning fuel with that thing behind it faster than anything else. Howdy, y'all! Um, Let's not forget I've got a pretty important piece of equipment on tow. He as well. does. He does. If y'all haven't seen this yet, hold on. And I'm sorry if the footage is jerky as as all get out, but very very important piece of equipment right here. <laughs> Uh, Mildly dusty Barrett's packing. lawnmower got strapped to the, the top of, well, what was the bar? Um, we're outside the Judge Roy Bean, is that right? Yep. Judge Roy Bean Museum, Law of the West. Airing up, waiting on Dyer. Always waiting on me. Always, Always waiting, waiting on, on you. And then we're gonna jump back on 90 and head out towards Big Bend and hopefully get backcountry passes. If not, we'll go to our property in uh, Terlingua Ranch. I think my light's got a little bit. And uh, we'll figure it out from there. So it's cool. There's only three trucks, so we get to kind of wing it a little bit. Not a big organized ordeal. I like it. Roll on.
it's a little bit of a bummer. Um, but not entirely surprising. Spring break's a busy week, and there were no campsites available. Well, there was one, but they told us we had too many vehicles for it. So we're going to head over to our property in Terlingua Ranch and uh, base camp there and then just strike out into the park for a few days and have fun with it. So let's get uh, rolling so we can make camp. Well, base camp is set up. There we are. We are going to settle in. Oh, that is one dirty dog. He's a happy dog. <laughs> dog. Dyer's got a swag out. We got the opus set up. Trucks are unloaded. And since we couldn't get a campsite in the park, we're going to base camp here at our property in Terlingua Ranch while we go explore the park during the day. It'll be a good time. Mm -hmm. Time we get fire started and some dinner on it. Yeah, like Chunks of meats and salads. Soon to be epic sunset. Good, good times. Hey, boy. Good times. Always good times. Always good times. Always good times. Like Gotta find my beverage. and Brandon jumped up early this morning and uh, went up to the Terralingua Ranch headquarters to check on availability for Christmas Mountain. Turns out they don't open at 7 like we thought they did. They open at 9. That's probably on me. Um, and so they booked it back over here so we could uh, get some breakfast tacos started and get some breakfast down. And we'll head back up there, see what availability looks like on there, kind of plan our day from there. But kids are all bundled up in their bed trying to stay warm it's like mid 30s but should be a good day yeah feels good doesn't it
Mm-hmm. All it takes is it breaking over those mountains. I do love this place so much. It hurts. What hurts? Well, you had a thorn halfway through your shoe. No, it's not my tongue. It's on this foot. It oh, wouldn't okay. even move. This was the shoe that had. Righto. So we got signed up for Christmas Mountain tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. We'll go pick up the key to the gate get up there, do that, which I think you'll really enjoy. It's I'm excited. It's good. Well, you've seen video of it, but yes. it's nothing <laughs> like it, seeing it in person, like, like most things. Mountain. So right now we're going to head back down. We've got a little route planned through the ranch um, to go see a friend of ours at her place, which she has on Airbnb, Mel's Place. Check it out. We'll put a link in the description. And then we'll head over to Ghost Town for a little bit right, and uh, kind of find a, a route back and uh, then kind of chill at camp for the evening. Try to undust ourselves. Undust ourselves. The dog is very dusty. She's, she's normally so, so soft and sweet and now she's a different color and coarse. So that'll be fun. Onward! Came up this road to a fluoride mine. 
fluorite. Where well, it used to be a fluorite. Good on here, I'm gonna go that one. Ooh, dude. Feel the cool air. The cool air coming out of the ground? Yeah. Full of bats? Not this one, I think it's the one up there. Yeah. I don't even know how we can get through all Ahsoka. this. Ahsoka. Here's an idea. Huh? This is pretty gnarly. How many times have we seen today? Hey, well, that is cool isn't it? Yeah, hey, cool. you need to be really careful because those rocks are loose, okay? Okay. At least I have a walking stick. Yeah. I'm just the... flipping and this helps me. Let's go check that out. Yep. Hey, we're coming back up, sweetie. I want to come down and look. We're going to go look at the other one that's right behind you. It's safer to go to that one. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. At least I caught myself. For that exact reason. <laughs> All right, go on. Uh, I'll come on. Sofa, come here. Here, come here. Over here. Come on. Come here, dog. Come on, go. You go first. Alright, I'll go first. Oh, a flashlight in a truck. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wait. Your turn. Oh, I see Guano. Oh, MG. Yep, there is Bat Guano in here. Guano is what they Guano's Bat Poopy. Bat Poopy, yeah. Bat Poopy. Oh, sorry, Brandon. I thought it was something like. Snake. Like, oh, no. <laughs> snake, it's a snake. Oh, pretty this is pretty rad. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Look at all these rocks. Bear would, if Bear came in here, he'd be like, yeah, he went every rock in Asoka, here. you smell the, the back food? <laughs> Where's, we get a circle. Oh, there she is. Minding. Cool. Come on, Snips. Come Let's on. go. I found another way out. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it's a cliff. Stop hitting me with that. Sorry. No, you're good. It just freaked me out. <laughs> it's a That's pretty neat. The old mine shafts there. Some old mining equipment and stuff still up here. Debris. But not stuff you get to see every day, especially in Texas. We'll wander around here a little bit more. Head over to a little spot we know of for lunch. And uh, keep kind of rolling around through the ranch today. It's just a good relaxing day.
Lake Ament. Which isn't much of a lake most of the year. <laughs> but it was enough at one point that they built a dam. <laughs> Push picnic tables up one of the roads. You better get in. There's another one down there, which is where we camped for Big Bend Rare Mileage a couple years ago. So, good spot. What's a mile? Maybe only live once. <laughs> After enjoying the scenic drive through the ranch roads, we stopped off at the Terralingua Trading Company to enjoy a little time on the patio before heading to Mel's place for a little walk down memory lane. For those of you looking for a place to Airbnb, Mel's place is incredible because that view of the Chisos Basin is unparalleled. It's fantastic out here. just waiting for anything to fall. Well, she already got a piece of butter and garlic bread. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's trying to fix some rubbing issues. We had to reinflate the trailer because apparently the wind was blowing so hard it disconnected one of the bridge hoses for those pillars right there. And you know, the whole thing just sagged during the day. Should have another epic sunset. Settle in, get some dinner. It's pretty windy. So we'll see if we're in for another night of uh, listening to all the canvas buffet. But it should be good. Leave them in there? No, I put them up here. Here, eat that one. There you go. You got it? Yeah? You're too good. You want me to cut up an after you? Can I cut up? Or no? 
we kind of retreated into the uh, annex because it looks like there may be a dust storm on the horizon. So we'll see how that goes. Time for some dinner. We hope you've enjoyed the first part of our journey into Big Bend country. Tune in for our next episode as we tackle Christmas Mountain, Old Maverick Road, and the Chisos Basin. And until then, get out.